Texans are no strangers to scorpions from Laredo, Texas to Midland, Odessa. You can find all kinds of them, but how much does the weather and region we're in play into their behavior? And why don't we see them as often as other parts of the state? Hunter Alcocer is at the Sibley Nature Center to find out. Yeah, Crystal, I'm out here at the Sibley Nature Center in Midland, where earlier today I spoke with museum scientist Michael Nickel about scorpions, what makes them tick, and also how weather can affect their behavior, as well as maybe why we might not see them on average as often around here as we do in other parts of Texas. While not a full-on desert, the Permian Basin area is considered a semi-arid part of Texas. So here in West Texas, we live in a semi-arid climate. We see between 14 and 15 inches of rain here in the Midland and Odessa area, which isn't a whole lot compared to the rest of Texas, where to the east, they see between 30 and 40 inches, even 50. But despite that, species like the scorpion can still thrive out here. They are primarily nocturnal predators. Uh, they're, they're related to spiders and uh, uh, they, they hunt uh, uh, mostly insects, things like that. And so they're, they're, they're just uh, basically predators out there in nature. The semi-arid climate has more of an effect on their behavior than you might think. Scorpions, they don't have the ability to regulate their own body temperatures. And so whatever the uh, ambient temperature is, that's, that's going to be their body temperature. And sometimes it can be too hot, too cold for them. So they're going to have to go someplace to, in order to adjust their body temperature to to, to meet their needs. Nickel also says that this could be part of the reason why scorpions sometimes find their way into our homes. But why is it that overall it seems we don't see scorpions around here as often as we would in places like, for instance, San Antonio? Well, it's more humid there, and plus you have a wider variety, a lot more species of scorpions than we do have here. It's, it's more of an arid region here, and so uh, 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 we, we, we've really got not quite as big of a diversity of scorpions as you would in San Antonio. Nickel also says that scorpions are just a natural part of the ecosystem. They do their part in getting rid of insect pests and stuff like that. If you are worried about getting stung by one, just be careful. Whenever you see one, just keep your distance. And whenever you're digging around the ground and lifting up rocks and stuff like that, keep an eye out as well. Crystal?